a logo, Waymo community frames display sunny engagement photos and a wedding invitation for couple Lillian and Max. We met back in 2017. I was still in college. She was just out of college. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it's crazy. That was a different lifetime ago. It was several lifetimes ago. Yeah. <laughs> Max enters a flower shop, using his white cane to help him. An older, white-haired woman stands in the middle of the shop surrounded by lush pink blossoms and small cacti. Hi, welcome in. Hi. How can I help you today? I'm looking for some flowers for my wife. Of course, we can think of large issues that visually impaired people have. It is so many little things that you would never even think about. Thanks. The woman ties up a bouquet of pink and yellow flowers for Max, and he leaves the shop. Finding the tools that can help you help yourself is the key to being independent. Max holds his phone up as he waits outside, then later climbs into the back of a driverless Waymo car. Transportation is an issue for us. Sometimes it's not feasible for me to drop what I'm doing and take him somewhere. You excited for date night? I found so many different ways of doing things in my life to live independently, but I still can't drive a car. Because of that, Things like Waymo are game changers. At home, he hands Lillian the bouquet. Later, it lies on a table as Max sits down next to Lillian and their dog on the couch. I 100% thought about where Waymo was servicing when we were buying this house. Because, of course, for Max, I want him to be able to use this service. But also, I think Waymo's so cool. Whenever I get the chance, I'm going to take it. I am so hungry. Are you excited to go? Yeah, it seems like a really cool place. Transportation independence is more than just the convenience of being able to get around by yourself, but it's also a self-confidence thing. That is empowerment. At a restaurant, they cheers their wine glasses as a Waymo car takes off down the street. A logo, Waymo Community.